Hi guys, this is Ronnie from Notary Stars, and I am answering what I call burning questions that we get regularly at the Notary Stars program. We do have a blog on our site about this topic, and the question is, can I become a loan signing agent part-time or uh, as a side hustle? Uh, we do have, if you are working part-time or as a side hustle, a great blog for you for things to look out for. But my words of wisdom to you, if you are looking to get into this or you are in this part-time or as a side hustle is make sure that you're training. Uh, even at Notary Stars, we train extensively and we have over hundred plus hours available for you. Plus we offer live training four nights a week. If you are a part-time agent and you work a full-time job, you have a disadvantage that a full-time agent has. That is if you conduct a signing on a Monday night and you have to be at work nine to five on a Tuesday or a good portion of the day, if something happens with your signing from Monday, you're not going to be able to correct it. You, as a loan signing agent, becoming successful are not going to be able to survive off of refinance files alone, which generally have three days to close, not all of them. Um, you may be able to finagle around that if you have a day off during the week. You've got, to, you've got to really know what you're doing. You've got to really know how to understand the documents. You've got to really know how to get them executed properly and returned on time. If something goes wrong and you could cause a delay of a loan, you could cause a loan to not go through at all. Uh, there are some loans that if they don't sign and, and fund by a certain time, they have to pay money or they can lose their lock-in rates. Um, so you have to really know what you're doing as a loan signing agent. I'm not particularly fond of the word side hustle in this industry at all. Although some people view this as a side hustle, I actually find it insulting to call such a hard job a side hustle. Um, you may see me in other videos saying anybody could do this if they really want to do it. And that's true. But there's a lot of thought and effort that goes into this. I mean, one signing can really exhaust a person mentally. Um, because there's so much that you have to know in the beginning. Once you really know what you're doing, it's very easy, or I think it's easy after a decade, but you want to avoid the word side hustle. And I'll tell you why. Um, I don't know a title officer that would want to work with a notary that calls their job a side hustle. I would think that doesn't sound professional to me. Um, it doesn't sound professional. You, you know, I think of side hustles as, you know, taking photos for Airbnb. Um, and not to insult anyone who takes photographs, uh, driving Lyft or Uber. I drive Lyft and Uber. Well, I don't really, but I have the Uber and Lyft sticker on my car because I like having signed up for everything so I could go out and do anything. I think driving for Amazon is a side hustle. But when I'm talking about a loan that someone's going to be locked into for 30 years, it's not like getting them from point A to point B. It is is a little bit more involved in that. You have to make sure the documents are printed uh, properly, get there on time, make sure they're executed properly, uh, answer any questions for the, the signers. There's a lot of things that you're doing that are you know, very professional uh, and it doesn't just ring in my ears. I know I have colleagues that also think, mm, if they're looking at this as a side hustle, it might not be the right fit. Um, so yes, you can do it as a side hustle, but I would say change the terminology. And if you are looking at it as a side hustle, change your mind a bit and look at it as a very professional thing that you can do on the side. Um, I see a lot of notaries burn bridges before they get across them. If you are, whether you're doing it as a side hustle until you can, you know, make ends meet, or if you're doing it as a part-time job until you find out you can do this full time. You want to make sure that you definitely invest in the training that it takes, uh, whether it be here at notarystars.com or in other training programs. Uh, make sure you're careful. There are a lot of pop-up training programs uh, that have been around, you know, uh, a lot less longer than Notary Stars or Notary to Pro, uh, which has been around for a decade. Um, you want to be careful where you invest your money. Um, here at Notary Stars, we charge $25 a month and offer 100 plus hours of training, plus four days um, live a week where you can log in with a real live instructor and train with us. Um, there's a lot of places that take your money and then they still leave you scratching your head, but then they urge you to get out into the field. Uh, I highly recommend that you know how to do this uh, properly when you're doing it part time because you can wind up 
getting yourself out of this industry before you actually get started. So thank you for letting me answer your questions. I, uh, I hope this has been very helpful. Again, there is a blog on this subject on our website, notarystars.com. Just go to community blogs and you'll see our part-time article. Thank you and have a wonderful, wonderful day.